Hello everyone, I'm Nick Cho, creator of Easy TV Money. I'm speaking with you from our cool local farmhouse style office in New York City. Before I show you the income generation system I've been using, I'll just spend the next one and a half minutes to tell you the true story of how a young man from a small village in China went from nothing to make $1.5 million and achieved his American dream in three short years. He went on to found five successful companies in 23 countries and sold two of them. Let's call him the comeback guy. When he was 22, the comeback guy came to the United States for his graduate school from China with $200 in his pocket and only a handful of English. He could not even say his name properly. Very quickly, he found himself struggling financially to pay for tuition. His bank account was closed due to overdrafts and he had to borrow tens of thousands of dollars from credit card companies, friends, and family. He was working four jobs at the same time and would only sleep for three to four hours every single day. Many times he had to use coins in his piggy bank to buy food. But he was able to completely turn his life around in six months and achieve financial freedom in three years. How did he do it? It was with the Easy TV Money System, the same system you will learn on this page. Yes, as you have guessed, I am the comeback guy. As a Buddhist, I like to be more humble, and telling my story from a third person makes it sound less like bragging. Easy TV Money was my first ever success in America, and it gave me the confidence to start four other businesses. Ever since I shared Easy TV Money with the world, it has changed thousands of people's lives. I invite you to read the amazing success stories from our students below. Most of them did not have any experience with PPC or affiliate marketing, but they were able to follow the step-by-step -step system and started making money very quickly. Next, I will show you exactly what Easy TV Money is and how easily you can generate income with it. So what is Easy TV Money 2.0? It is a proven income generation system since 2005. The core idea is to promote products featured in paid programming TV commercials using pay-per-click advertising or PPC on Bing ads. It's PPC plus affiliate marketing on steroids. There are five simple steps to make money with Easy TV Money. Step one is to find a product to promote by recording a special type of TV commercials on your DVR or TiVo. You just need to set up your DVR or TiVo once and it will automatically record these TV commercials for you. Let me show you how to do that. Just start your TiVo or DVR, then search for paid programming and record those TV commercials. You can usually watch the beginning or the end of the commercial to find out what the product is. All you need to do is write down the product name and the website URL. If you can't record TV programs, no worries. There are many websites where you can find these TV commercials. Alternatively, you can also easily find products to promote from over 600 affiliate networks that you can join. I'm going to use a product called Idolash that I saw in a recorded TV commercial as our example for the rest of the demo. Step two is to join the affiliate program of the product. You just need to find out an affiliate network that carries this product. We will use a website called odigger.com, O-D-I-G-G-E-R.com, which stands for offerdigger.com. Just enter the product name, Idolash, and click on search. You can see that actually quite a few affiliate networks carry this product, and Market Health is one of them. If you are not a member yet, you can click on sign up to sign up for this network. Just enter the information here. When you're ready, click sign up. Once you are approved, you can just search for the product Idolash. And this is the offer description page. As you can see here, it pays $40 per conversion. And it is available in pretty much all countries except for the following few countries. If you scroll down, you will find your affiliate link. That is all for step two. Step three is to find targeted keywords for this product. There are two types of keywords we can bid on. 
The first type is product keywords. These are the so-called trademark keywords. Believe it or not, many merchants still allow us to bid on their product keywords. You just need to find the right affiliate networks and the right products to promote. I know this because in the past six months alone, I've created over 800 profitable PPC campaigns that are bid on product keywords only. The second type of keywords is generic keywords. These are broad keywords that are less targeted but are still highly relevant to our product. So next, we're going to show you how to use Google Keyword Planner to find both product keywords and generic keywords. First, I will briefly demonstrate how to find targeted product keywords for Idle Lash. To do this, let's go to Google Keyword Planner and click on search for new keywords using a phrase, website, and a category. And here, we're going to enter the following four keywords, Idle Lash, Idle Lash Idolash without space and idolash.com without any space. And for negative keywords, make sure to add all the negative keywords in my catch all negative keywords lists. For non software products, you should use the negative keyword list at easytvmoney.com forward slash negative hyphen general. For software products, use the catch all negative keywords list at easytvmoney.com forward slash negative hyphen software. So these are the negative keywords for non-software products. Copy everything and paste them under negative keywords here. Click save. For keyword option, make sure you turn on only show ideas closely related to my search terms. Click save. Click get ideas and click on keyword ideas. There are two sections in this page. The first section contains keywords that I entered earlier and the second section contains keywords that are relevant to the keywords that we entered. Now we just need to select keywords that we want in our campaign and remove keywords that we do not want in our campaign. Here are some tips on how to select keywords. We should select keywords in the buy mode. For example, buy, price, and where to buy. We should also select keywords with the review and the reviews in them. We should not select keywords that are negative. For example, scam, side effects, complaint. We should not select keywords in the research mode. For example, ingredients. We also should not select keywords for existing users. For example, how to use customer support. Based on these guidelines, I've identified the following product keywords that I want to bid on and the following negative keywords. Please note that these negative keywords also include the catch-all negative keywords we talked about earlier. As we just saw, it's relatively easy to find product keywords. Finding the generic keywords is not so straightforward. Let's talk about this next. The basic idea is to enter the website URL as the landing page in Google Keyword Planner, and then click on Get Ideas. Google Keyword Planner return relevant keywords and group them in Add Groups. So please make sure that you're under the Add Group Ideas tab, not Keyword Ideas. The basic idea is to go through the different Add Groups and find the keywords that we want to bid on. Before we go through this list, we need to differentiate two concepts, Add Group Ideas and Keywords. Eyelash extensions, eyelashes, lashes, lash extensions, etc. These are all Add Group Ideas recommended by Google Keyword Planner. If you mouse over an ad group, you will see keywords in that ad group. So these are keywords. It's important to know that these two concepts are different. Let's go through some of the guidelines on how to select generic keywords. Please note that these are in addition to the guidelines for product keywords we talked about earlier. First, ignore ad group ideas that are too broad. For example, the ad group ideas eyelashes and lashes are simply too broad. They each only have one keyword in them. So we should ignore these two ad groups. Next, we should ignore ad group ideas that are irrelevant to the product. This is obvious. We know that Idle Lash is a serum that helps grow eyelashes naturally. So keywords with extension, fake, false, or artificial eyelashes, glue or adhesive, 
mascara, and makeup are all irrelevant to the product. Next, we should ignore ad group ideas that have highly subjective keywords. These include top, best, great, amazing, lovely, cute, beautiful, cheap, affordable, expensive, etc. Next, we should ignore ad group ideas that include possessive adjectives, including my, your, his, her, its, our, your, and their. Next, we should ignore ad group ideas and keywords that are incomplete. For example, eyelash work, best eyelash growth, you make eyelash longer. Clearly, those ad group ideas or keywords are not complete. Please know that this applies to both ad group ideas and keywords. Next, ignore ad group ideas and keywords that are out of order. For example, lash idle, eyelash growth best. Next, when we see a negative ad group idea, we should immediately add it to our negative keywords list. Next, do not bid on short keywords that have only one or two words unless they are product keywords. For example, we should not bid on keywords such as longer eyelashes, thicker eyelashes, eyelash growth, etc. because they're just too short and too broad for us to bid on. They tend to be more expensive and their conversion rates tend to be very low. So you want to bid on keywords that have at least three or more words in them, unless they are product keywords. Based on these guidelines, let's go through a few ad group ideas to demonstrate the steps. First one, eyelash extensions. We mentioned that we should not include this ad group. In addition to that, we should also add extension, extensions, and their variations to our negative keywords. We mentioned that eyelashes and lashes are just too broad as ad group ideas, so we should ignore them as well. Next, last extensions. Ignore false eyelashes because it's irrelevant to our product. Ignore. Next one, fake eyelashes, also irrelevant, so we should ignore it. M2 Lashes, it's a competitor's brand, so it's also irrelevant. In addition to ignore those ad groups, we should also add the following into our negative keywords list. False, fake, and M2. Next. Eyelash curler. Eyelash is not a curler, so we're going to ignore this and also add curler into our negative keywords list. Next one, eyelash glue. That's irrelevant. Ignore it, but also add glue into our negative keywords. Next one, eyelash serum. We know that this one is highly relevant. So now let's click into this ad group. So these are the keywords in this ad group. We should also sort them by average monthly searches. Now we just need to go through this list and find the keywords that we want and add keywords that we don't want in our negative keywords list. One tip is that if we find a negative keyword, in addition to adding it into our negative keywords list, we should also add it to the negative keywords list over here in Google Keyword Planner. That's going to prevent the keywords that we don't want showing up in our list. Let's go over a few keywords to demonstrate the steps here. Eyelash Serum. As I mentioned earlier, it has only two words. It's simply too broad for us to bid on it, so we're not going to add it to our plan. M2 Lashes. We mentioned earlier that it's a competitor's brand, so we should not bid on it. In addition, we should add M2 and M2 Lashes as a negative keywords. Eyelash Serum Reviews. It's relevant, so we should add it to our plan. Eyelashes Serum here. It's too broad because it has only two words. Ignore. Eyelash Activating Serum. Relevant. M2 Beauty Eyelash Activating Serum. Irrelevant because it's a competitor's brand. Next, Eyelash Thickening Serum. Relevant. Serum for eyelashes. Relevant. Add. Draw plan. Eyelash Serum UK. We know that Idolash is also available in the UK, so we should add it to our plan. Okay, by now, 
you should be pretty familiar with how to select generic keywords. To see the keywords and the negative keywords for Adelash that I came up with, please visit easytvmoney.com forward slash keywords 2D. As you can see here, the first tab has all the negative keywords that we have connected so far, and the second tab contains all the product keywords. The third one contains all the keywords that has the word longer in them. Next one is the edit group for long. If you're interested, you can feel free to go through all the tabs and learn how I select keywords. Now that we have identified the keywords, step four is to create a PPC campaign in Bing Ads. Click on create campaign, then search and content campaign. First, we need to enter the basic campaign settings information. Once we do that, we'll need to create an ad. Let's first create an ad for product keywords. For ad title, we want to make sure the product name is in there, which is idle lash. And for ad text, we need to mention one or two benefits of using the product and include a call to action. For display URL, you should use the product website URL, idolash.com. For destination URL, you should use your affiliate link in Market Help. Copy this link and paste it as the destination URL. Next, we need to add keywords into Bing Ads. We can go to our keywords list and copy all the product keywords. But before we add them to Bing Ads, we need to wrap them into phrase and exact match. This is because phrase and exact match keywords tend to convert much better than broad keywords. To do that, please visit easytvmoney.com forward slash keyword wrapper. This is a tool that I developed many years ago. Just copy and paste the keywords that you want to wrap in the enter keyword list box. Click on wrap keywords and then copy the keywords under phrase and exact match and paste them into Bing Ads. Click on Add. For now, we can ignore those bits. Many of them are just way too high for us. We're going to lower them in a little bit. Click on Save. For Search Network a bit, you can use one of my three proven formulas. If you're an aggressive PPC marketer and have a little bit more money to invest, you can use the first formula, Payout divided by 50 plus 1 cent. If you're a conservative PPC marketer and you don't have much money to invest, then you can use the second one, which is payout divided by 100 plus 1 cent. If you're somewhere in between, you can use the formula payout divided by x plus 1 cent, where x is simply a number between 50 and 100. In this case, I'm going to use the first formula. And because the payout is $40, divided by 50, that would be 80 cents, plus 1 cent, that would be 81 cents. So we enter 81 here. For content, we can ignore the bit for now, because later on we're going to turn it off. Now for targeting, we keep everything intact. For ad distribution, under advanced settings, we need to make sure to uncheck content network. And also under ad rotation, I like to select rotate ads more evenly because I want to have more control as when to optimize ads. Click on save. We have just successfully created our first PPC campaign. Now let's take a look. The first thing that we need to do is rename this ad group to Idolash, which is the product keyword. Let's click into this ad group. First, we need to change the bids for keywords in this ad group. Select all keywords, then add it. Then change current bids. Select set current bids to and leave this blank. Click save. And this will set the bids for those keywords to the default ad group bid, which is 81 cents as we calculated earlier. Click save. Next, we need to add negative keywords into this campaign. When you're under the keywords tab, click on this drop down menu and select negative keywords. Click on add negative keywords. And then we go to the Keywords Spreadsheet, go to the Negative Keywords tab, and copy all the negative keywords and paste them here. Click Save. The second thing we need to do is go to Ads tab and create a second ad to compete with the first ad. So I just wrote a second ad and click on Save. 
We have just created the edit group for product keywords. Now we need to follow the same process and create the edit groups for generic keywords. The steps are very similar. The only difference is that we're going to use three different formulas to calculate the edit group bids. Those keywords are highly relevant. We can use the formula payout divided by 150 plus one cent. If they are moderately relevant, we can use the formula payout divided by 250 plus one cent. If they are just loosely relevant or you're not so sure, you can use the formula payout divided by 350 plus one cent. Okay, we have just created our first PPC campaign. That is all for step four. Step five is to check earnings and maintain the PPC campaign. To check earnings in market health, go to reports, conversion reports, select the right time frame, and click on run report. As you can see here, actually I've generated a lot of sales from Idolash. To maintain your PPC campaigns, you just need to compare the earnings from this campaign and the ad spend in big ads for this campaign. If you are making money, then you should increase the bids so that it can increase your profitability. If you are losing money, then obviously you need to lower the bids. If you are breaking even, then you should also lower the bids. If a campaign constantly loses your money, you may want to pause that campaign and move on to the next PPC campaign. Now obviously this is a very high level overview of how easy TV money works. Many advanced techniques and topics are not covered. For example, how to select products from affiliate networks directly without recording paid programming TV commercials, how to set up PPC tracking, how to write more effective ads, and how to optimize PPC campaigns, among many others. Easy TV Money 2.0 is a highly systematic and step-by-step -step course that contains a tremendous amount of information. It's not possible to cover it in this short demo, but you should have a pretty good idea of how this system works and how it can truly help people build a long-term PPC business online. Okay, that's all for the demo. It should give you a basic idea of how easy TV Money works. To get instant access to this revolutionary income generation system that has changed thousands of people's lives. Sign up for my Easy TV Money course below and start generating serious income today. Thank you for watching and see you inside.